Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, we close out season two of Miami Vice. This week's show covers all our favorite guest stars, music, and episodes from the second season. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering the time between seasons two and three of Miami Vice, from May 12th to September 21st, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, in the four-month span between seasons, there's an enormous amount of news, so we'll quickly run through some of the highlights. On May 26, an estimated 6.5 million people participated in the charity event Hands Across America. On June 12, the South African government extended the state of emergency to the entire country and heavily censored the media in an attempt to extend the apartheid. On July 3rd, President Reagan presided over the rededication of the Statue of Liberty on its 100th birthday. And finally, on September 8th, the first episode of the Oprah Winfrey Show airs, who tried desperately to book the one and only Don Johnson on its first episode. In sports, the Montreal Canadiens defeat the Calgary Flames to win the Stanley Cup. In the NBA, the Boston Celtics defeat the Houston Rockets. George Brett gets his 2,000th hit, and Greg Norman wins the British Open. In music, there are many changes at the top of the Hot 100 in this time frame. Topping the list includes Greatest Love of All by Whitney Houston, On My Own by Patti LaBelle and Micah McDonald, Pop It On Preach by Madonna, Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel, and Higher Love by Steve Winwood. Personally, I'm making to the love ballad Glory of Love from Peter Cetera from the amazing movie Karate Kid Part 2. According to Peter Cetera, the song was originally written for the end credits of Rocky IV, and I just can't handle all the 80s in the sentence. In movies, for as much news and music there was during this time period, the movie list is insane. On May 18th, Top Gun would be king of the box office. It would be replaced by the Sylvester Stallone classic, Cobra, then Karate Kid Part 2, only to give way to the sci-fi classic, Aliens. Next comes the Cronenberg classic, The Fly, and then the unbelievable film, Stand By Me, which would be replaced by none other than... Top Gun, 16 weeks after its initial release. This is easily the greatest summer of movies ever. I wish I had time to gush over every single one of these movies, but in the essence of time, all I'll say is... Danger Zone! And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com, or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.